There is a sixth dimension, beyond that which is known to scammers. It is a dimension composed of digital artifacts, zeros and ones, where no one knows who anyone truly is. It is the middle ground between trust and lies, between naivete and greed, and it lies between the cesspool of fraud and deception and the misguided belief that anyone would offer wealth that you are entitled to in exchange for a nominal shipping and handling fee. This is the dimension of retaliation. It is an area which we call messing with scammers. Hello, everybody. This is Messing with Scammers. I'm Scott Robison. You might tell from my voice that I've got a little bit of a cold right now, so I'm not going to be doing a lot of talking tonight. I just wanted to quickly intro the next part, part two, of my most recent faux Windows tech support scammer who called me on July 14th. The following segment is about 19 minutes long total, but I cut out about three minutes. So instead of 19 to 20 minutes, it's 16 to 17 minutes. There were some slow, more slow than normal spots. So I went ahead and clipped those out. Um, let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, congratulations. You're connected to the main secure head server. Now you see, being a technician, I'm helping you to show you the problems, okay? Okay. Now you see I'm moving the mouse. Can you see that? Um, you see, so this this thing has already came up on your computer desktop screen, all right? Yeah, I don't see now, the mouse, but I, I see things highlighting and going away, so... All right, now can you see something's happening? Yeah, I can see things happening. I just can don't see, see the mouse. The mouse disappeared. Uh, no worries. No worries. It's it's. I'm the person who will be showing you the problems. Okay. Okay. Now just keep your eyes on your computer and let me know whatever you're seeing. Okay. Okay. Now, as I showed you those errors and warnings. Okay. Now I'll show you the connection of your internet problems. All right. Okay. Okay. Now you see something has been coming up in your computer as like establish at the local addresses, foreign addresses, and states, right? Uh-huh. Now, local addresses is the IP address of your computer and internet connections, but the foreign addresses is that some other person is also trying to use your internet connection because your internet is not secure. Your internet is being tried to get hacked, all right? Oh, okay. So, you did you knew this thing, sir? No, I've never seen this before now, in my life. Now, if your internet is getting hacked, now anything can happen from that. Like any any kind of person can do any kind of illegal works. All right. Now, what can happen due to those illegal works? The internet connection is being taken by your name, right? And what will happen? The blame will simply come to you, and you will be like behind the bars even if you don't secure your internet connections. All oh right. Oh my gosh. So not a problem. We are here to help you out with all those things. We'll make everything secure, all right? Okay, thank you so much. All right, all right. now I'll do one thing. Uh, just grab hold a pen and a paper. Okay. okay. Now I'll provide you the license number of your computer. Okay, one second. All right, once you grab hold, just let me know. Okay, I'm ready. All right, now can you see there is a long line where it's written as CLS ID slash in a bracket with a whole lot of numbers. No, I see. The third last line. Numbers and letters, right. The third last line. From CLS ID, just write down, who all, just like, write down all the numbers till the end. Okay. okay. From CLS ID. Okay. okay. Now that's the license number of your computer. Do not disclose that to anyone else except your family members if you would like to. Because this is a very uh, like secure uh, license number. If anyone comes to know about it, uh, your computer can get hacked at any point of time. Okay. Right? So, so the numbers and the letters, or just the numbers? Yes, numbers and the. Oh no, it's like CLS ID uh, with triple A D C A six zero full whole thing. All right. Okay. The so the thing. numbers and letters. Got gotcha. you. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. Uh, Take your time. Write it down. Let me know once you get completed. All right. लेकिन इसका इसका तो प्रॉब्लम रहता ही है भाई बहुत अच्छा है
So once you complete it, just I've, let me know, okay? I've, I've got that down now. All right. So you're complete with it? Yes. All right. No worries. So sure. Uh, if you don't mind, I just want to ask you some questions that uh, in your personal life, do you, uh, like, do you work or are you a business person? What are you? Um, I, I work, I, I, uh, I work in a call center actually. All right. And, uh, what kind of work do you normally do? Um, like in that call center? Um, I, I make outbound calls to try to sell people, mm -hmm. uh, tickets to fundraising events. Like right All now. Right, that's a lovely thing. Yeah. Okay, now I'll show you something else, okay? Okay. Now, the errors and warnings which you see, like before sometime which you saw, there's errors and warnings. Now, due to those errors and warnings, what happened? Many softwares in your computer stops down, all right? All right, now just let me know if you see anything up on your computer screen. All right? Okay, I just saw a system configuration pop up. All right, now just give me a moment, okay? Okay. All right, now can you see this up on your computer screen, sir? Right, I see the system configuration window. All right, now I'll show you those softwares which are stopped and which are running. Now can you see the service pages is up? Now sir? you see something is running, many of the softwares are running and many of the softwares are stopped. Can you see this? Yes. So this softwares are need to be started right now, otherwise your computer can crash down at any point of time because some of them are stopped right now. But what will happen, uh, what will happen, it will just normally make your computer corrupt by by making your, uh, like, so all the software can stop at any point of time. Okay. Okay. So that's why we are calling okay today to show you all those problems now as i showed you those things of hacking thing all right that hacking ips and all okay now what can happen your computer is they will just also try to ch get into your personal details and i'll show you some hacking codes all right okay just give me a moment Now let me know if anything comes up on your computer screen. All right, click on continue, all right? Okay. Um. Did you click on continue, sir? I did. All right, all right, it will come up. Just give me a moment. Like, is your computer slow, so it's taking a bit time to baby on up on your computer screen? Okay. All right, now can you see this thing is up? Yes. All right, now this is the hacking code which the hackers have tried to put into your computer to get into your personal details. Like they can also get access to your Facebook, like to your emails, email or any kind of personal details. All right, if you want, you can scroll it down, but do not click on any one of them. Okay. Right? okay. I explore. Can you see this? LP. It's all, all gilbishing. Do not click. LP remove, log on UI. That all sounds really important. Can you understand? Can you, like, this are all gilbishing. Can you understand anything from this, sir? Um, I mean, it. it it's all, it, I mean, it looks really complicated to me. All right. So, uh, in that, in this whole thing, can you find anything named as run dll32.exe? Run 32... Um, run dll32.exe. There's like one, all two, right, three, right. four, five, all right, six, all right, seven. All right, all right, all right. Now let us check what is this run dll32.exe is. Okay. Okay. Give me a moment. Okay. Can you open a Google page for me? The Google Home page. Okay, just give me a moment right now. It's run dll32.exe, all right? 
Now let us check what is this exactly. Hello. Yes, sir, I'm there with you. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Got really quiet. You there? I'm here. All right. All right. Now, can you see these things, this information? Right. Yeah. I mean, it's a little small and hard to read, but I can see it there. All right. So this is exactly, it's telling us like all those things which is there in your computer is need to be removed. Okay. Oh, okay. See, it's, it's a called related errors. All right. Okay. Oh, so okay. run DLL32.exe is a process registered as a backdoor vulnerability, which may be installed for malicious purposes. See this one, sir. The recommendations. Uh, run, run DLL32.exe should not be disabled. Required for essential applications to work properly. That's really confusing right. to me so because this, part of it says that it's a back door, but then another thing says that it's it's no, important. No, no, it's a, it's all hacking codes, that's sure. Oh. All right, now I'll just minimize this for you, okay? Okay. I'll show you something. All right, as you have seen these things, okay? Now uh, I'll help you to uh, show you something else. Just give me a moment. Okay, thank you. Could you hold on for just a second? I'm gonna. Well, you're. Yes, no worries, no worries. Okay. No worries. I'm 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 really thirsty. I just got home a little while ago. All right, go ahead and have your water. Go ahead and have some water, beer, whatever you like to. Just, I'm just get some water and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, no worries. I'm holding the line for you. All right. Th thank you very much. I'll be right back. Mm hmm. No problem. <laughs> Hello? 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 Yeah, yes, hi. Sir, I'm Hello? 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 Yes, sir. Are you, can you hear me right now? Uh, yeah. All right, all right. What time is it where you're at? Sorry? What time do you have right now? Okay, I am back. Um, you're back? Yep. All right, now, so fact, give me a moment, okay? Just give me a moment. Sure. I liked your idea so much, I decided to get a beer after all. Thank you for the idea. No worries. You do one thing, sir. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, like, uh, can you uh, just give me a moment? I'll make your computer more secure, and then I'm, I'll be there talking to you, okay? Okay. I'm right here waiting. Okay. No worries. Yes, were you talking to me? No, 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 you, you, you just be on hold, okay? Okay, just wanted to make sure you weren't trying to get my attention. 
No worries. I'll I'll speak to you very soon. Okay, thank you. You just have your chill beer right now, all right? Absolutely. Just relax and have a beer. And cheers to you for the beer. <laughs> thank you very much. No worries. Okay, so are you there? Yes. All right. Now, sir, you just give me a moment. All right. Now, I'll just do one thing. Just transfer this call to my one of the level four head technician who will be uh, telling you what exactly you need to do to fix all these problems, okay, for your computer. And we'll make you make your fix all your problems, like your internet problems as well as your computer problems. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you. No worries. Just just give me a moment. I'll just transfer this call to him. Okay. Lovely talking to you. Uh -huh. Have a chill beer and cheers to you. Okay. Cheers to you too. No worries. Take care. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Yeah, same to you. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi, sir. This is Maxon. Okay. Hi. I'm the senior technician. And okay. I'm going to help you out from here, sir, okay? Okay, right. great. Thank you. Okay. Now, sir, I believe Chris, who was the previous technician, and he has detected all the problems, and he has also shown it to you, sir, right? Correct. Now, the, this problem is not only because of the hackers and all, sir, all right? Like your computer internet uh, is also getting accessed by the hackers, okay? So whatever antivirus you have, let me go ahead and find it out whether you're using any kind of security or not. Are you using any antivirus, sir? Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. No. We're getting no antiviruses, sir. Can you see that? Yes. It just gives the normal reports, but it doesn't give any kind of antivirus. Okay. Okay. And can you tell me, sir, that how old is this computer? It's about five years old, I think. I think I bought it in 2011. 2011. And is this the, and is this the only computer you bought? Like yeah. you have in the house? Yes. Only one, right? Yep, and only the one. And what sort of work you do, sir, in this computer? Like you use this computer for personal use? Yeah, it's just a, I, I use it for email, playing games, browsing Facebook, things like that. Okay, so that's it for part two. I'll try to get part three done and posted tomorrow. I just wanted to point out really quick, as you looked, uh, I, I left in the middle of that to go get a drink. Um, I don't know why I just air quoted that because I really did get a drink. But in any case, um, while I was gone, you could hear other voices. It's like they're taking multiple calls at one time. This seems to be a very efficient operation. Uh, you've got to give them credit for uh, getting people through the system as quickly as possible. You heard one potential victim asking, you know, what time is it there? So hopefully he's wasting their time too because he's on to the scam. In any case, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, subscribe if you'd like automatic notifications of new uploads. And until next time, take care.